Are you having problems with your camera freezing and needing to be reset? Maybe you're having an intermittent focus issue or getting random error messages. This can be deeply frustrating and can even mean missing a shot. But there might just simply be a firmware problem and I'm going to tell you how to fix that today. In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what firmware is, why it is so important and then take you through a step-by-step -step process to update your camera to the latest version. By the end of this video, you will have everything you need to never have a firmware issue again. My name is Charles Stoss and I am a professional wildlife photographer with Pangolin Photo Safaris here in Botswana. My job is to help my clients getting the best shots while they are on safari with me and sometimes that means helping out with technical issues like firmware updates. Firmware is the embedded software that the device such as a digital camera uses to control certain hardware functions. And like any software, it can be modified. It's the brain of your camera controlling everything including autofocus and image processing. And because technology constantly develops, our camera needs those updates and changes to keep pace. Keeping your camera's firmware up to date can immediately improve your shooting experience in three very obvious ways. Add functionality and features such as autofocus eye detection capabilities, frame rate adjustments as well as support for raw video output. It will optimize the performance of your camera by the manufacturers making small tweaks to the system that can improve response times, load times or read times to a memory card or even battery life. And most importantly, a firmware update will fix bugs that you may or may not be aware of, but that ultimately affect your camera's performance. So, to have the best experience with your camera, make sure to always have the latest update installed, especially before you travel, as internet access in places like Africa make doing large downloads problematic. Having said that, also updates can have glitches. I usually wait a couple of days once a new update is released to make sure that there are no complaints before I go ahead and install it. Before we start on the steps to update your camera's firmware and you are finding this video useful, please go ahead join our growing community of wildlife photography enthusiasts by subscribing to the channel. Updating your firmware might vary slightly from brand to brand. But I find it nearly always follows these simple steps. Go to your camera manufacturer's website, select your camera and check to see what the latest available firmware version is. Check what version of firmware is installed on your camera, usually in the yellow menu on a Canon's camera. Compare the version number against the current release on the manufacturer's website. If a more recent firmware version is listed, Check the release notes to see if it includes updates that are essential or that you are interested in adding to your camera. Be absolutely sure that the firmware update is applicable to your camera's make and model. Attempting to install an incompatible update can seriously damage your camera. Download the firmware from the Canon website. If you are a PC user, this download will appear as a zip file which you will need to extract. If you are a Mac user, the downloaded folder is automatically extracted and the firmware folder is created. If the download folder cannot be automatically extracted, double click the folder. Next, take a memory card, depending on what camera model you use, that you don't mind formatting. Make sure you haven't left any images on there. Place it inside of your camera and click format to erase it completely. A small tip, compare the file sizes with that on the Canon website to ensure that the components have downloaded correctly. Select the extracted file and drag and drop it to the memory card and of course remember to eject the card. 
Remove the card from the computer and insert it into your camera. Turn the camera on. Please make sure your camera's battery is fully charged as a power failure in the middle of an update can damage your camera. Go back to the menu and find the firmware version section again. Select it and you will be able to see the current firmware version as well as the firmware version you want to update to. Hit OK and the installation starts. The camera will now show you the progress. Make sure not to click any buttons or fiddle with the camera during this time. The update process can take a few minutes. Once the firmware update is complete, you will see a message confirming that the update is completed. Some models might even prompt you to turn the camera off. To double check, turn the camera on again and enter the menu to see that the firmware version has updated. That's it, it should be that simple. Just follow the steps I have explained and make sure that you do so before you head out to photograph or leave for a photo safari. On that note, if you are keen to come to Africa and do a photo safari with me, then I will leave some options for you to see in the description below. Thank you for watching, until next time.